Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the United States. Uh, let's go ahead and get started here, guys. Uh, if you guys recall, in the last episode, we have marched up uh, Italy here, and we conquered Rome. Uh, Rome is our, in our hands, and now we're just trying to get them to capitulate. Uh, they are currently, oops, my bad, they are currently uh, at 80%, I believe. Yep, 80% over here. Uh, so we're going to need to take a few more victory points, probably up to this line, I think, should uh, result in them capitulating. What is their uh, okay, they're 85% national unity. All right, so yeah, we're probably going to have to go up to that line uh, to get them to uh, completely surrender to us. Uh, over here, we are actually advancing in North Africa, as surprising as that is. Uh, I'm very, I, I am very surprised with that because we've had such problems over here. Let's go ahead and get these guys going this way. We don't really need them, uh, two of them going over here any longer. Uh, and then, you know what? Let's just keep on pushing forward with all of our divisions. I think these ones are taking this province, so let's have them take right there uh, and just keep on pushing forward. It's just awesome to see us be able to advance over here finally for once. Um, what else we got two divisions coming over here we have our naval invasion over here which currently has five of 14 days uh, done and what else can we do? I don't think we're gonna be able to attack there. Might be able to take that province. I think that's where they're evacuating to, uh, but they got another division there. Uh, maybe we can attack here. Uh, I think they're leaving though. Yeah, six hours, let's just let them leave. Uh, and then we'll we'll uh, take that area. Uh, so we need to go ahead and get our tech selected here. Um, we are at, um, uh, this is, I think this is what we finished up, one of these planes. I'm not entirely sure. Let me just check in our stockpiles. Uh, the Grumman, uh, which one is that? What did we just research? I, I'm not entirely sure. I think it was, hmm. All right, I thought it was a plane that we finished researching, but apparently it wasn't. Well, we're going to use this slot for a plane. Uh, we're going to be getting tactical bombers over here. 134 days. Uh, and yeah, we're going to take a look at what this outdated equipment is. I thought it was a plane that we researched. It is. Oh, it's the carrier fighters. Okay, uh, so yeah, I think I was just looking at the wrong wrong carrier fighters. All right, so we want to go ahead and get these guys uh, changed up to carrier fighter twos, the Wildcats. All right, nice. Uh, we only have one factory going towards that right now, and I think that's probably fine. Yeah, they're not even really needing them any right now uh, anymore right now, so I think we're good on that. Uh, we really need to get these factories building out over here. Uh, so let's just leave that as is, um, and I think that's all we need to do before we can go ahead and press play. I do want to check these guys, see how far along they are. Okay, they still got quite a ways to go, and that's all right. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, get started here. Also, if you guys want to see the borders here um, of the Soviet and Germans, uh, or Axis, I should say. Uh, yeah, they're like like we said before when we ended the, uh, that last episode, they have been advancing a little bit. They're pushing forward. Uh, so yeah, Germany's not doing so well. I think they're still at the same... Oh, they're at 44%. All right. So Germany might surrender soon, guys. We'll just have to see what happens there. Uh, but let's let's go ahead and uh, let this play here. We're attempting to advance further into Italy. Uh, we're we're going to take this territory here. This is a victory point. Well, not really. It's one point. Uh, and then we're going to take that. Looks like we finished up that defense there. We got more troops coming over here. Uh, and we really need to attack there, but we don't have the troops just yet. I wonder if we can attack right here and win. Uh, maybe. Let's let's go in and take a look. Let's see if we can defeat these guys. We'll send one in, one division in, and then we'll have all these troops here. We'll send all these guys in to fight. All right, and that's still a loss. What if we support with these troops? No. Oh, well, it's green now. Uh, what if we left one of these divisions here and then had them support that attack? Okay, that looks like that would be a victory. We'll just have to see what happens. At the very least, we are locking those units down, uh, and hopefully we should be able to win. We also have another airbase open up right here. Um, it looks like we can fit 400 planes, which is exactly how many we have. We're not going to move them over there just yet, uh, because we're close enough as it is. Uh, so let me see how things are going in the uh, North African front. Okay, we already took this territory here, which is excellent. Uh, I kind of want to get... I don't really want to leave this open, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and do it, because I want to get uh, this territory taken. Let's go this way and then over here, and then we will come back over there, I suppose. I think that'll work out. Uh, so we're going to get this province taken as well. These troops here can wrap up this. Uh, but yeah, I want to get this taken. You know what? We can do that later. Let's just advance. Let's take territory, guys. That would probably be smart. We'll go this way. All right, and we have some other guys take that. Because, um, yeah, we, we need to, to push forward while we can. Uh, we could also maybe possibly get these guys cut off. Probably not likely, though. No, they would get supplied through this area. Though, they would probably hamper their supply a little bit, I'm sure. Uh, no, still can't attack here. It looks like that division left just for there to be two more divisions popping up there. So, yeah, we're not going to take that territory, unfortunately. Um, anything else that we can do here? What are these guys doing? Looks like we just won there. Let's, let's just support this attack because apparently there are now troops there. Um, I don't know that we're going to be able to win there. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be a no. All right, well, we'll keep on attacking. Well, nope, they had to pull it back. All right, wonder if these guys can get there. You know what? We need to lock these guys down. 
Um, because I want to take that. Alright, excellent. So we're going to pull that away. They can attack there now. Though it looks like that is going to be a loss. So let's go ahead and help and support that attack. Make sure they don't uh, defeat us there. We did get the Iowa class here. Alright, excellent. Uh, let's go ahead uh, and we'll, we'll have to do something about that here in a second with our battleships. Uh, what are we going to get next? I think light cruisers, right? That's all that we have left. Although... I almost want to work on something else right now other than ships. I kind of want to switch over to production or to industry uh, because we are, there's a lot of things we still need to get over here. So I think we should. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the assembly line production. You know, that's that's really where we're having problems with the equipment. So might as well, uh, you know, work on that. So let's do the battleships real quick. We're just going to switch them over to build one. Just one battleship, finish this up here, we don't want to lose all that production. Uh, and yeah, uh, then we'll have the next level of battleships here. We are still winning here, which is awesome to see. Uh, I wonder if we can take any other provinces. Uh, these guys are leaving over here. Uh, let's let's advance right there. Um, yeah, I think that would be a, a good deal. Um, anywhere else we can attack? No, I don't think so. Alright, I don't think we'll be able to, let's let those two divisions leave uh, before we attack there. Uh, it looks like we have a naval battle over here. Uh, oh, it's just some convoys. Never mind. I, I keep forgetting that the Xs don't even have any. They don't even have any troops. Let's go ahead and attack here. Come on, help. Assist uh, taking these divisions out. We have that tank uh, division completely surrounded right now. Uh, and it looks like we have run into some units here. We're going to go ahead and keep that, that offensive up. Um, push them back here. And let's just delete uh, whatever we got going. Where's my army here? Uh, let's just delete this front here. I don't know what these guys are doing. Don't need that. Um, anything else that we need to delete here? I don't think so. I think we're good to go. Uh, yeah, it's probably fine. I think so anyway. <laughs> I think they, they are not, somebody's not assigned to this. Come on, everybody needs to get assigned to here. I think these ones are, hmm, I'm not entirely sure. Was it this one that was moving over there? Yeah, we have 11 divisions, so that means that there's three divisions currently not assigned to it. All right, well, whatever. How are we doing on this? 10 to 14 days? All right, excellent. Um, and yeah, I know that we have made such slow progress. Each each video has been like six weeks. Uh, that's like really bad, and we're losing here. Oh, that sucks. Uh, and we took this province. Excellent. Uh, let's let's advance here with these troops uh, since it's open. Um, and then yeah, you guys just go over there too. There's no reason not to. Everybody's got to go over there. Uh, and then we're gonna send these troops into here. I think. Um, let's go ahead and march over there. Uh, you guys can go over there as well. Uh, and then you guys are gonna come here and lock those divisions down. Uh, and then once you guys get here. Um, you know what? Come on over here as well. Make sure that those divisions get locked down while we take that province. Uh, we're still in the defense here. We're losing. Maybe we want to go ahead and attack. Uh, I know that we're not going to win there, but it should help with this this uh, defense here. At least a little bit uh, while we uh, finish up these two areas here. Uh, and yeah, they're going to keep on offering that. Where's the resistance? Is that? Oh, yes. All Italy and Sicily um, are going to be resisting against us. And we don't have the divisions for really occupying that territory just yet. So we're going to have to wait on that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, Indochina uh, front because we have not been paying attention to this. I want to see how we're doing on our planes. Do, can we assign any yet? Not really. 75 fighters, 18 close air support. Yeah, not really going to be able to do much with that. Okay. Um, anything else here? Not seeing it. All right, whatever. Uh, where are you guys going? Oh, you're taking that territory. Okay, I, I suppose I'm okay with that. Uh, I kind of really want to help with that because it looks like they're going to win there. All right, I think we had that territory before. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, this this front has been very, very fluid, guys. Let's go and swing on back over to here. Uh, yeah, this front's been very fluid uh, of late, um, and we are going to lose against that. All right, well, you know what? I'm fine with them going that way because we can get them cut off. Yeah, we'll just come over here and take that promise. I got my computer over here popping and shit. That's weird. Uh, what are you guys doing? Oh, they coming, they're coming on over here. Um... Why don't you come to this province? I think that's all the, the as far as you're going to need to go. Uh, and they would be able to take, nope, I got a port there. All right, I was going to say they would be able to take that and then cut us off, but that's not going to happen either. Let's get these guys cut off. Uh, this division over here. Uh, what's it, armor division or something? You can't really tell if that's light armor um, or something else. Uh, but yeah, they're 22 hours. They'll be in that province. They're going to be deep. Uh, damn, we can't take it. All right, well, this front is uh, really weak. Our, our divisions over here are far too weak. Um, what can we do to fix that? Oh, what we what we should do is probably advance all along this territory, kind of put some pressure on them to hold other areas so they can't concentrate so much over here. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm really liking that we're finally advancing this front. I know I've said that multiple times, but man, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Uh, we've been fighting over here with 
absolutely nothing going on. Um, are we ready? 13 or 14 days, almost ready. I really want to get that the uh, straights back. Uh, we do need to pay attention to what's going on over here. We did win this one. Uh, it looks like we won the defense as well. We're winning over there. Okay, everything's looking pretty good here. Uh, and let's go ahead and send them in there too. We want to make sure that they stay locked down. Um, yeah, it's not going to be much longer. Can we defeat? The Can we beat them there? One day, 17 hours. We held them for quite a while. Yes, we will get there before them. All right, excellent. Um, so yeah, they'll have to attack us there. Nice. Um, so yeah, looking pretty good. This front is advancing. Where is Italy looking right now? Germany is currently at 46%, so they are losing more territory, while Italy is at 81%. Uh, just go ahead and swing on over here and see uh, how the uh, front is looking. Um, yeah, I, I don't think the Germans have too many troops on this, this border here. Yeah, they're losing all of this territory. That's that's really, really bad, guys. I have that feeling like they're going to get defeated very soon. Maybe even this episode. Probably not this episode, but maybe next episode. Uh, I don't know. What is that to see here? But yeah, once we get onto that front with them after we've defeated Italy, it's going to really confuse German AI. And yeah, I think that they're going to be defeated, guys. Uh, which really sucks, but it, I don't think there's going to be a peace conference, though, uh, because of Spain. I believe we have to defeat Spain in order to win here. Uh, no, we have to defeat Japan. All right, so, uh, well, Japan's not at war with Russia. So, yeah, they might actually be able to make peace when we can't, once Italy and Germany's defeated. That could be really bad. Yeah, I, and we've been screwed like that in the past where, you know, the Soviet Union, the Comintern, gets to make peace before the Allies do, and then they get to do whatever they want. Uh, even though, you know, we were at war with them first. I, I suppose if they conquer Germany, I guess in this instance it would make sense for them to get the uh, peace treaty rather than us. Uh, but in other instances, damn, we lost that territory. We just took that. Uh, can we? Well, we're not gonna really be able to advance anywhere. We're too we're too thin on this front over here for right now. Oh yes, our offensive. That's what I'm, I'm, I knew there's something I needed to be doing. Uh, our, our naval invasion. Let's go ahead and get that going. We don't even know if there's anybody over there. Let's just hope that there is not. Um, we don't have air support or anything. Uh, so let's just see what happens. Let's just see if we can win there. Uh, I'm not giving them air support. I'm not giving them naval bombardment. We're just going to work with what we got here. Maybe we fail and then we have to do it again. Uh, that's the worst that's going to happen is that we have to do the invasion again. Uh, these guys here, we're going to have them go right there. Um, and then we're going to have them take this territory here. Although they're using the railroads right now. It's not going to be able to... Damn. All right, that's going to work. All right, so let's... We're just going to have to have them manually uh, take that territory. Though, are they still in strategic redeployment? I thought I turned that off. Apparently I did not. All right, let's have them go take that territory. Um, these guys are gonna come on over here. It looks like they might make it out of there, which sucks. I was really hoping that we could get them uh, defeated there, but yeah, that's not gonna happen. All right, well, whatever. Uh, nothing to be done about it. Um, let's let's go ahead and, and shore up this province here. These guys are gonna come take this province. Uh, and anything else that we need to do um, up along this front here? Uh, looks like we did defeat those guys there. That's excellent. Looks like we're gonna lose right here though. Uh, so that won't be good though. I think we might be able to get them surrounded if we did lose there. Uh, and let's send this this division over here uh, to shore up that. Cause I, I don't really wanna lose it if at all possible. Uh, and then yeah, these guys are gonna come on over here. And yeah, everybody's moving. Uh, excellent. Um, anything else that we can do here? We do need more troops over here so that we can maybe take a province um kind of push forward here but it's not as big a deal i really want to get pushing uh through this territory here uh also over here let me just see i know that we had some units moving over here um yeah we're gonna take that territory excellent uh so yeah we're pushing the front forward uh ever so slowly it looks like the tanks there have pushed us back those german panzers that's where the the Ger germany has messed up they, they sent too many divisions to asia and africa uh and that's why they're currently losing um over here in germany because they didn't have enough troops nearby that could uh, react to that. Um, okay, still doing the defense in these two areas. God, we lost that territory, which sucks. Uh, but yeah, nothing else to be done about it just yet. Uh, these guys are all too low of low, low of organization, excuse me, uh, to really do an offensive right now. Uh, the, they could do one though. Ah, let's just wait. Where are these troops going? All the way over there. Okay. That's fine. We do need more divisions over here, so I'm all right with that. Uh, this side is rather strong, while this one's fairly weak. Uh, and you know what? We'll go ahead and send one of these divisions over there. It looks like they're taking a little bit of attrition, uh, so that would be good. Uh, get those divisions over there. I What my goal is, I guess, is to defeat Italy before uh, the Soviet Union defeats Germany, if, if at all possible. Um, that would be nice. Let's see how this invasion is going. It is failing. Oh, well, that sucks. Well, let's. I guess we're going to try and give them some uh, naval um, support here, some bombardment, and see if that will uh, be effective. I don't know that it will. Uh, I mean, it looks like it looks like we're really, really close here on uh, defeating this one division, uh, but it's just not good enough. All right, what is the penalty? Oh yeah, they have the forts here. I completely forgot about that. 
Yeah, Gibraltar has those forts. It's not the greatest province for doing a naval invasion. Maybe we should have done right here and then attack Gibraltar from the land. I think that probably would have been the better move. Uh, it looks like the Canadians are also attempting to attack. They're attacking Valencia over there. Uh, I, I doubt they'll be effective. It looks like they uh, aren't going to be. And yeah, so, so we're just kind of stalemated here while we're waiting for our organization to increase. Uh, let me just take a look at the stockpiles because I'm curious uh, how we're doing on some of these. Uh, yeah, it looks like everything is now in the green. Um, I mean, obviously not uh, planes. Oh, that's why. I'm scrolled down. <laughs> well, some of this stuff is in the green. I think this stuff was already in the green. Never mind, though. Uh, I'm over here talking shit like I solved something. And the problem clearly is not, not solved. All right. Uh, what we're going to do is I think we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a medium uh, armor division uh, built out for for our uh, units here. Um, let's get, uh, we're just gonna use, I think we're gonna use these guys. Yeah, this is a good model here uh, for changing them up uh, to the medium armor. So let's just, I'm just gonna make a copy of this, a duplicate that there, uh, and then we're going to call them medium armor for right now, because I don't have, well, actually I think I do have a name uh, that somebody suggested. Somebody suggested Fury. Uh, yeah, do we wanna call them what, Fury Tanks? Sure, we'll call them Fury Tanks. Uh, Fury off of the movie. Um, I think they suggested it for light tanks, but it makes far more sense for them to be medium tanks uh, because I think that it was a Sherman that was used in that uh, that movie, the Fury movie, the Brad Pitt movie. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it was Shermans uh, that they were that, that they commanded. So uh, it makes makes more sense for us to use it for the medium armor rather than the light ones. Let's go and switch all these up to medium armor. We do have, um, so how much of the tanks is this going to require? 150. We might be able to build one division. Uh, I think we might have enough for one division. Uh, we're also going to want to go ahead and get, uh, no, we already have mechanized what I'm doing. We need the art. Oh, my bad. I keep clicking on things here. We need the medium self-propelled artillery in here. I think we're going to go ahead and leave this as is. I usually don't have the recon companies in the medium. I'd put like, I don't know, support artillery or something like that in here. But you know what? We are going to leave the recon companies in there. Uh, there are definitely some advantages to them uh, over the artillery. And yeah, I think I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, so you can kind of see how they're looking here. Supply use is higher. Um, and it looks like their max speed is, is the same. Huh. The same from what we changed? That's odd. Should be a lot slower. All right, let's go ahead and, and get that going. Um, get that changed, I mean. And we're going to build, I don't know, maybe one. <laughs> I think that's all we're going to have the equipment for. Uh, just taking a look here. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll build, we'll put two out here and then go ahead and get these guys going into, oh, I need to, I need to scroll out to do this. Uh, put them into Texas and then add them to our training army. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's a good idea, getting those, um, medium armors. Uh, that's gonna take them a while. Yeah, you can see the equipment is much improved, guys. Um, this is a lot better. Uh, I'm, I'm really pleased that we did that. Uh, should have done that earlier. We shouldn't have been so, building so many damn divisions. That's what it comes down to. Uh, so let's see if we can, uh, take any territory, because our organization is up now. Strength is kind of a bit low, um, but we might still be able to take territory. Let's just see here. Uh, no. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Might be canceling that a little bit early. It is yellow. Uh, might tick up to green. Yes, it is going to tick up to green. All right, well, what we're going to do is have these guys attack as well. They're going to have to fight on their own, though. I don't know if they're going to be able to win. At the very least, they'll distract those divisions there, and then we're going to have these ones attack up. Well, you know what? I think we should, what we should do, guys, is let's let's leave this middle area. You know, you guys pull back over here. Let's leave this middle area for possible encirclements. Um, I think that would be wise. Let's try and take this territory here and wrap around here. That wouldn't be that difficult to do, um, yeah, especially if they want to hold these. And there's two reasons that, other, besides the fact that we're going to be cutting them off and be able to wipe them out, these are mountain provinces. Uh, and I, mean, I guess these ones are as well. Uh, it's just Italy. That's why Italy can be kind of hard to advance up because of all the mountains. Uh, but at the same time, it's going to be very difficult for them to dislodge us. And it looks like our ships here were the, the little boost that we needed uh, to win this battle. Uh, we are now winning. However, they could, of course, move more divisions over there, and that would ruin that. So let's just hope that that doesn't happen, uh, and that they don't put bombers over here to bomb our our uh, our, plane, our our ships over here, because that would not be good. Uh, so let's let's just hope that we take Gibraltar. We desperately need it. We need the supply. I haven't really been paying attention to what's going on over here. Probably should be. Uh, this is pretty important front, and it looks like our division here got cut off because I wasn't paying attention. All right, well let's let's go ahead and take some territory um, if we can. 
let's uh we're gonna attack right there uh we're also going to we'll have these guys support here make sure that we win uh we're gonna get these guys reconnected very very soon though not gonna be too much of a problem uh and then yeah this division here isn't moving so let's go ahead and get them going down there uh and yeah i can't believe i was completely neglecting this uh front it's important uh we want to advance it we've been fighting on it for so long you know what? they can just attack they don't need to support um anywhere else that we can uh attack no those divisions there are still moving i don't think we would win you know what? let's just see Let's see what happens. Yo, it looks like we would win. All right, well, we should have did that a long time ago then. Uh, we will support this one. This one looks like it's the lowest one, so let's let's have them support over there. All right, now it's over here yellow. That's not good. All right, and it's red again. Well, we'll just have... You know what we'll do? Um, well, never mind. We don't... Well, what we could do... We could assign the fighters over here, um, and they could give us a nice air superiority bonus. Uh, that might be enough. Uh, Nova Bombers, unfortunately, can't do anything. We need to switch those out. I keep saying that we're going to do that, and I don't. You know what? We're going to do that now. We're going to switch some of these Naval Bombers out. We're already hurting on Naval Bombers as it is. Uh, let's just tick these down um, to... Uh, this, I don't know. Let us let me just see here. Let's tick this down to, like, 10. Uh, 10 Naval Bombers, and that'll leave us 18 uh, Bombers, close air support. I mean, it's not, it's not a lot, guys, uh, but I think it'll be helpful. Well, this... Okay, wait a minute. Let's change this up. These new, this, uh, this one can carry more. Uh, so let's put them over here instead. Do we have anybody that we can assign here? We do. All right, well, let me just see. This is the one that's important. I know I'm getting distracted here, guys, but let's do this while I'm thinking about it because I will forget. Uh, let's go and assign these uh, these uh, ace pilots here. I think that would be really, really smart. Um, oh, these okay, these are the fighter ones. Do we have anybody unassigned? No. We'll do this guy on the Lexington. Sure, why not? Let's go and get those guys assigned. And then, yeah, what I want to do here is we're going to change this up. We'll reduce this some. Um, I want to get, like, 20. So let's reduce that um, down to 15, I suppose. Um, why is it? Come on, tick up. 15 is what I want. There we go. We're going to set that limit there. And then, yeah, we're going to build ourselves a new air wing of uh, some of these um, carriers here. How many do we, do we need? We're doing 20, right? Yeah, we're going to do 20. So let's get 20 on there and we have those in the reserves so I should be able to get them deployed I don't know if they'll be here in time uh, what does that see uh, if they'll get here in time to assist 20 bombers isn't gonna make a huge difference guys but it might be just that little bit of tick that we need to get that into the green I'm, I really want that invasion to be successful guys uh, that would be excellent um, these guys did win over here uh, which is good to see. We got a little bit of saving right there. Uh, yeah, these guys are going to take this territory here, and um, we're going we're gonna to have to stay here uh, until we take this, which, like I said, I think we're going to attempt to advance up this way. Uh, we're moving more divisions over there now. Um, yeah, these guys are coming up over there. They're going to come into this province, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we're moving, I think, three divisions over there. I don't know if that's going to be enough, and they're attacking us there. That's not good. All right, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to attack here just to ensure that they don't uh, win. Yeah, we don't want that. Uh, and it is green, so we could actually win there if we wanted to, but I don't want to. Uh, we're just going to win it until we get this to pull back. Uh, we did just finish something, uh, the Disperse Industry 4, so yeah, that means that should help with our production quite a bit. We're going to go and get Construction 4 now. Um, and is there anything else I need to be aware of? I don't think so. I do want to check to see how Germany and Italy are doing. 52% and 81%. Uh, Germany here, yep. They're gonna they're gonna be defeated soon, guys. It's, it's gonna be a wrap. Germany's not gonna win this. Uh, that that sucks. Um, I I don't like I said I don't know what's worse them them having defeated the Soviet Union or the Soviet Union defeating them. I don't know which one's worse. Uh, but I know I didn't want the war to end that quickly between them. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, and it looks like we might have done a little bit of damage there. I didn't check, though, so, uh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, we lost territory over here again. Uh, we've just been flipping back and forth. Uh, we just can't hold any provinces, unfortunately. Uh, let's let's go and take that if we can. Looks like there's nobody there. Uh, it will be kind of hard for them to just dislodge us once we get it because it is uh, mountain territory. This has just been a, such a difficult front here. Uh, those men, I feel really really bad for them uh we need to be rotating them out uh they need some time home back in the states and it looks like that is now green all right excellent the enemy air superiority might have been uh what helped us there because we haven't got the bombers there yet uh so yeah like i said just little adjustments there uh can be exactly what we need in order to win there uh we'll keep attacking here even though we're winning and we don't want to win there uh just so we can get that reduced um can we attack anywhere else these guys are still pretty low on the organization right now so i don't think we're gonna be able to attack anywhere just yet we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer 
Uh, this attack here might... Oh, now they're being attacked from that direction. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to bring these guys over here. And then they're going to pull out and they're going to come over here to uh, help hold that province there. Because it looks like we are about to lose it. I don't know if we'll get there in time. We'll just have to see. Uh, it looks like they're being supported. So, yeah, probably not going to get there in time. What are we looking like? Oh, three days, 11 hours? Yeah, that's... We're not going to get there. All right, well, whatever. That sucks we lost that territory. Uh, looks like we do have uh, some military factories to get assigned here, or one military factory. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. We are going to... I'm just going to scroll up here and see what all we need. Uh, looks like the infantry equipment problem is uh, largely solved, uh, which is excellent to see. Uh, still got to get that support equipment, though, but we already have that. Yeah, we have all these completely built out, uh, you know, completely filled out those lines. Uh, what else can we put into? Mechanized. Yes, let's put in a mechanized. I think that'd be wise. Let's go ahead and put a couple into that. Uh, and I think we should put some more into our planes as well. Uh, like into the close air support down here, maybe more into the fighters. Um, obviously, naval bombers, we need more of those. And carrier naval bombers, more of those. And the tactical bombers. All right, I think that is good. I want some more strategic bombers as well. So let's go and do that. Uh, and I think that's looking good. How are we doing on our bombers? There's 60 of them. All right, so not many. Uh, not very many at all. All right, so did we get our, our uh, planes over here assisting just yet? Uh, looks like, no, I wonder why. Oh, they haven't deployed yet. Okay, so they'll be there, so I don't have to keep checking this. Um, Today, at 2,300 hours. All right, excellent. Uh, so, yeah, they might actually get there in time to help this invasion. Perhaps not, though. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't look like we're going to need the assistance. Uh, there is a province here that has been surrounded. Let's go ahead and get that uh, taken there. And all you guys here are going to come over to this front. Same with, I don't know what all you guys are doing, but you guys coming over here as well. And you. Everybody get on this front, please. Actually, you know what? Everybody needs to get. Is anybody attacking right now? All right, well, they're attacking. This would ruin that. All right, we're not going to do that. Uh, but we want everybody on this front here. And it looks like there's a few that are not. So let's just, we're going to have to manually do this. Uh, this guy's got to go there. Um, that guy's fine over there. He needs to go there as well. And I think that should be everybody, right? 16, yes. Uh, the other division's right there. And he'll, I think he should manually uh, move on over here. Can we take this province? Let's take a look. Looks like that's a yes. Let's go ahead and do that then. Uh, and you know what? Let's see if we can win there. At the very least, we'll lock them down. I think once we get these other units there. Um, well, maybe not. Okay. Um, no, don't move. <laughs> Where are you guys going? Uh, can we take anything else? Any other territory that might be uh, open to us? Maybe right here, perhaps? Let's, let's attempt that. Uh, we'll support with this division here and see if we can get a win there. It looks like it's green. Excellent. Uh, go ahead and move here now because there's nobody else defending that. And you guys are going to have to sh uh, come over to this front. Um, and no, I don't want that. Uh, anything else open for us? Mm, we're already taking that province. All right. Um, can we take this one, I wonder? Probably not. There's a lot of divisions there. But I think we're going to attempt to. Let's send, let's send this division in and see if we can win there with a little bit of support from these two divisions here. All right, excellent. That does look like that will be a victory. Uh, and let's just swing on over to our naval invasion. We have done it, guys. Excellent. Yes, that is that is awesome. I am very, very pleased with that. I'm glad that we won here. We have Gibraltar back under our control. Um, we can go ahead and get these guys assigned now to do something else. Actually, before we do that, we might want to pull our planes out. Don't need them here any longer. And then let's get them assigned back to the search and destroy mission um, all throughout this area here. All right, excellent. Uh, and then we are going to... What are we going to do with this, these four divisions here? Because uh, we do need to stay here for sure. Uh, we're going to have to hold this 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 uh, province, but I don't think we need four. Maybe we can pull one out. That's what I'm thinking. Let's pull one out and put them into the Red Army. And then move them, because we need more troops over here in Italy, uh, like stat. Uh, let's, let's move them over to there. Okay, uh, and these three divisions here, you guys are going to have to hold the, hold out here. Uh, hold that province. Hold Gibraltar. Uh, let's just hope that they succeed in that mission and don't lose that because, uh, you know, our supply is all coming through there, so we don't need to lose that province. Okay, so things are going uh, pretty well uh, everywhere except for here in Italy, um, where the advance has been uh, stymied quite a bit. Um, how are we going to... These guys are still holding out. Good job. Bravo. Uh, can we push anywhere? Push into some territory here. I'm not seeing it. No, there's just nowhere. Our, our divisions here are still really low in organization. Excellent. So that's going to be a green now, uh, now that we supported them. Uh, we now have our brownings. Nice. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, it doesn't look like we have anything else available for us here. These are all 1942 techs. Uh, we do need still need the special forces. One day, guys. <laughs> One day I will get those. Uh, we are really behind on the support battalion, so I think we should go ahead and get um, some of these uh, increased. Well, which ones do we really need? I suppose logistics would be useful since those are in a majority of our... Oh, and we need the Shermans. 
All right, we're gonna have to get tanks. I, re I didn't realize that we haven't been getting any of the tanks. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna get the Shermans first, uh, and then we'll get those those light tanks. Uh, just taking a look at how we're doing on our training. Anybody almost done? Uh, not really, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and deploy this unit and get them training up because uh, they are pretty close. Uh, I think they gotta at least be 80%, uh, which is like where I like to want to have them. The Greeks have invaded over here, done a naval invasion. All right, well, hopefully that will result in Italy uh, capitulating sooner. They're at 88% right now. Germany has lost 1.34 million in this war. Just taking a look at the other war with the uh, Soviets here, uh, where they have almost lost. Uh, they are currently 55% towards capitulation. I didn't check that on our screen. Uh, and Soviet Union has taken 1.43 million in casualties. So they're winning the war, uh, but at the cost of a lot of men. Luckily, Soviet Union has a lot of manpower, so it's really not too much of a problem for them. Uh, Germany over here has lost 361,000 in this war. Um, so yeah, quite a bit less than they've lost in the war with us so far, 1.34 million. All right, how many have we lost uh, before we close this? 255,000, not bad guys, not bad for when you look at our participation rate, which is 47.4%. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, over here, we're green on all our defenses. Um, we're not gonna be able to launch any offenses until we finish those up, uh, and we need to, we're gonna send this division over there, uh, hopefully they'll get there in time, uh, to save that province, um, I wonder, I really want to get this cut off, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it, guys, uh, well, let's see what happens once we get these defenses done, uh, and you know what, we'll go ahead and move our planes as well, uh, you know, we're closer now to this, this, uh, where this airbase is, so, yeah, let's do that. We also have unread naval battle here. Uh, looks like we sunk a Japanese heavy cruiser. Awesome. Did some damage to their other ships. Not much, but a little bit. Um, well, it was mostly our planes. Uh, there was a battle cruiser there, though, a British one. Uh, is our fleet still repairing? I don't think so. No, it looks like they are, are fully repaired now. Uh, let's go in and get our... Uh, wow, look at that. Yeah, we have a lot of factories to get assigned here. Uh, I think... Hmm. I think we're just going to... Uh, build out, you know what, I wonder, do we, have, can we put these into the Philippines yet? No, we cannot, okay. Uh, so, uh, not gonna be able to do that. Uh, these aren't gonna be useful anywhere else, I don't think, no. Um, cause we don't really hold anything else uh, at this moment. And it looks like they did attack us here. We're holding out, we're gonna take a look at that. Uh, I'm just trying to take, uh, see if there's anywhere where we might want to, uh, build these radar stations that might help our Air Force. It looks like that's a no. We're just going to be, keep on building these military factories. Obviously, we need a lot of them, though we're at 110 now. That's not bad, guys. Uh, starting to get up there. Uh, let's just keep on building these, all in these areas. This, it is all, has all opened up because we did get the next dispersed industry here. Um, so yeah, let's just keep on building. We'll get another one in Texas over here. Uh, another one in California as well. Yeah, anywhere where I'm seeing the highest, uh, locations here. Um, right there. And right there. All right, excellent. Anything that's like 60% or above, pretty much. We'll build another one right there. All right, fantastic. Uh, I want to see how our fleet is doing as well, because we haven't looked at that in a while. I'm just a little bit curious here. Uh, looks like we have, let's put these destroyers over there. Um, and yeah, this is what the fleet is looking at right now. Two carriers, a battleship, a light cruiser, and four destroyers. Okay, that's not too bad. It looks like we have uh, three submarines over there. I think what we're going to do if we have built out, let me just take a look here. What am I trying to click on? Oh, yes. I'm trying to go to production. Uh, if we have finished building, is this a three, a carrier three? Uh, just out of curiosity here, let's let's go ahead and take a look. Um, no, these are both twos. What I think we're going to do is pull one of these. Yeah, let's pull one of them. Let's uh, pull the whatever that one that one's fine i think they're the same uh let's go ahead and pull these guys and we're gonna have them um uh, merge over here with this this fleet um if they're not in battle uh though it does seem yeah i'm gonna have to do this again uh yeah we're gonna have these uh th that carrier come over here and merge with them uh and I, i'm not not worried about them getting sunk or anything like that it's not gonna be a problem uh because yeah there there's not really anybody uh there um in the uh you know atlantic or in the mediterranean who can really sink them so it's, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's reduce that one there. And yeah, we're going to have these two merge here. I'm not going to send anybody else. Uh, the rest of these planes, these rest of these ships are meant for the Pacific Fleet. So yeah. But I do want to get that carrier going over there uh, because uh, one more carrier would be helpful. And I think we'll probably end up adding close support onto it as well to kind of uh, help help us on some of our invasions and stuff like that that we're knocking out. Though I don't really know if we're going to be doing too many more invasions. Um, because, yeah, uh, I was thinking we might end up doing, you know, an invasion of the north here. But, yeah, we're not going to need to do that. Germany has already pretty much been defeated there. Uh, still doing our defenses here. So, once again, can't can't move just yet, uh, which is unfortunate. I think we're going to go ahead and take one of these divisions and move them over here to try and get uh, this front advancing a little bit quicker. We'll put these guys over here and these guys over here. Uh, and maybe we can attack here now. No, these divisions are still too weak. Let's let those guys leave. Uh, and then we'll do an attack up here. 
how are we doing north africa anything that we can do over here it looks like we already have a lot of people moving let's let's go ahead and just take territory please everybody's got to move uh just take everything you can got to take it all uh anything else we can do it looks like we lost that offensive there well that sucks let's go ahead and put those guys over there uh onto the front i don't know what they're doing do we and yeah, they're assigned to it they're just not not helping uh did we lose well, didn't we take that province? I could have swore we did. Uh, maybe I'm just getting confused exactly where we're at. Oh, we did take it. It's just taking us forever to get there. We're almost there, though. All right, excellent. Uh, looks like this one is going to fail, um, largely because um, it seems that these ones are no longer supporting them. All right, well, let's go ahead and help that. It looks like they will win now. All right, excellent. Uh, so I think uh, I wanted to check this defense. Yeah, we're going to be able to hold out. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. We'll get built up over here. Uh, as well get our, our fortifications uh, built up our entrenchment is what I'm trying to say uh, and yeah I think uh, we should be able to hold that with those three divisions we might be able to hold it with two uh, but I really don't want to lose Gibraltar so we're gonna we're gonna keep three there so we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here guys that's it's about time already uh, making progress in Italy here definitely making progress in North Africa as well uh, Asia nothing happening but we don't really have the di divisions over here to expect anything to happen uh, we'll be sending divisions there soon I don't know well yeah, I don't know. We are going to need divisions over here, too. When it comes, a lot of people are asking, are we going to fight the, the Comintern? Are we going to fight the Soviet Union? And I kept saying, oh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Well, the reason why is because it did depend on, you know, the, what the situation was. Uh, if, you know, the Soviet Union had, you know, lost or whatever, and, and, and we kind of defeated the Axis on our own, and we saved them, we probably wouldn't have attacked them. But if this situation continues and we got communism all throughout Europe, yeah, we can't allow that. Um, and they have attacked innocent neutral countries. Uh, we can't, I mean, they're just as bad as Germany is at this point. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're probably going to have to fight the common turn next. So we'll have to start planning for that. But we are not going to jump into that war prematurely, guys. Uh, we are going to probably focus on fighting uh, Japan first. Getting Japan and Spain defeated. And then we'll, we'll focus on Soviet Union. Uh, which I think we should be able to, to defeat them. I know some people are thinking I'm gonna get stomped by them, uh, but I, I don't. I don't think so. They would stomp the troops that we currently have in Europe. Uh, but by that point, we're gonna have a lot more troops over here, guys. A lot more. Uh, should have the Asian theater completely closed down and stuff. I think we'll be able to defeat them pretty easily, or oh, not easily, but we'll be able to defeat them. I think. Um, I don't think it'll be too difficult, uh, and it'll be fun. It'll be a lot of fun uh, fighting the Soviet Union while they're in uh, the heart of Europe. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, then please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any of our content and thanks for watching guys